The latest fragrance from Imaginary Authors? Yeah, review coming up. Hey, Fragrance Family, I'm David and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course, your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a great review. Uh, well, it's always great in my opinion. <laughs> I have a review coming for this. This is the new Imaginary Authors fragrance called A Whiff of Waffle Cone. Now, of course, this just came out in 2020, and I am really super excited about this one. This one is a collaboration with an ice cream shop called Salt and Straw, based in Portland, Oregon. Now, you know that I'm a huge Imaginary Authors fan, and when they announced this was coming out, it almost came out of nowhere. <laughs> there wasn't much lead up into it, just came out and was released one day. <laughs> and of course, everyone lost their minds collectively because Imaginary Authors making a gourmand type of scent, yeah. Everyone was super excited. The notes in this are pretty simple. They're on the back right here of the bottle here. It says vanilla, heavy cream, salted caramel, amiris, orgeat, Saigon cinnamon, and ice cream shop as that imaginary note. Now, let me detour real quick and just talk about what an amazing box <laughs> Imaginary Authors has. It looks like a book and it has magnets that clasp it in. It holds the fragrance right there. Again, not necessary to enjoy this fragrance, but you know what? I like good boxes and this is a great box. And they also include a little sample in here, a little complimentary sample. This one is Imaginary Authors uh, Memoirs of a Trespasser, which is pretty cool. I love that one too. All right, so what do I think of this fragrance? Um, this fragrance I think is really good. It is very much in the style of imaginary authors. It is very much what they were going for as far as the overall vibe of the fragrance, smelling kind of like an ice cream shop. Whenever I first tried this, immediately it reminded me of that smell that you get when you walk into an ice cream shop that makes their own waffle cones. You get that kind of sweet, um, burnt sugar almost type of smell from the waffle cones, kind of dough and uh, sweet burnt sugar. I get that right away whenever I smell that. And even though the imaginary note is ice cream shop, to me, that is the main note, is that kind of overall vibe of ice cream shop. And that's really what I love about this. Whenever I smell it, it reminds me of being a kid. And this really has that kind of carefree, kid-like quality to it that I think is just absolutely marvelous. Now, outside of that kind of ice cream shop vibe, it is more of a vanilla type of scent. There are some other notes that really play a key role in this. Whenever I smell it, I also get the kind of salted caramel thing. And that salted caramel, again, another one that kind of reminds me of maybe an ice cream sundae. And it does smell really like salted caramel drizzled on a sundae. Now the ingredient orgeat that is in this is an almond, a sweet almond syrup that is used in cocktails as well as, well as other uh, things, I guess also in ice cream. And I do kind of get that kind of sweet almond, almost uh, amaretto type of thing. Not super strong, but it is in the background and I, I like that a lot. The other notes in this, I don't get quite as much. I don't necessarily get as much Amiris in this or um, even the Saigon cinnamon. Mostly what I get out of this is the ice cream shop type of vibe with some very sweet vanilla drizzled with that kind of salted caramel type of thing. Some people actually say they get a dusty quality out of this. It's not something that was immediately apparent to me, but whenever they pointed it out, I did actually get that. And so I think that is kind of an interesting quality about this. I don't think it's necessarily dusty like an old library dusty, but there is something in there that is, um, a little bit dry and almost granular, I would say, more than dusty. Now, one fragrance that I do think this does remind me of is Memoirs of a Trespasser. They are different, but they do share kind of a similar type of heart. What is different about these two is that Memoirs of a Trespasser is a lot more woody, and I think goes a little bit more in the masculine range, where this one is a lot sweeter, definitely more in the traditional vanilla vein, and I think is more unisex, and I think women can wear this, I think easier than they can Memoirs of a Trespasser. That kind of woody oak, uh, guayac type of thing that is going on in Memoirs of a Trespasser always kind of skews masculine to me. I think this is a lot more at home on men and women alike, so I think that is really great, so very versatile. I think now that they have this, this is a great alternative to memoirs. If someone doesn't like the woody quality, they want memoirs, but just sweeter, just amped up on the sugar. This is that, I think. The one major criticism that I will say about this fragrance is something that I don't necessarily think, but a lot of other people will, and that is this doesn't have very good performance at all. This, to me, lasts maybe two hours, three hours tops. 
And that is kind of a big shame with this. I'm not the type of person that really cares how long a fragrance will last. If I'm going out somewhere, I'm not going to spend more than three hours somewhere anyway. I don't need a fragrance to last 15 hours, okay? That said, a lot of people do want a fragrance that is going to last. People will find that they don't like that aspect about this. It is on the lighter side. It is on the lighter side with projection as well. I think it smells fantastic, but it just doesn't last long at all. I'm not exactly sure why, but it seems like the last few releases from Imaginary Authors have been released with very weak performance. And I'm not exactly sure why that is. I don't know if it's something having to do with the maceration. Maybe it needs to be macerated longer. Maybe it isn't macerated at all. I'm not sure. But several of their fragrances are on the lighter side. It's always going to be one of those things that Imaginary Authors is going to have to battle with public perception. They have fragrances that maybe don't last for people who want fragrances that last longer. The other criticism that I think some people might make is that this is too sweet. I mean, it is very, very sweet, <laughs> but I think if you don't want a sweet vanilla, don't get something that is named after an ice cream shop, okay? <laughs> Another great thing about this is the price. This is $65 for their normal 50 mil size, and that is fantastic. Normally their prices are higher than that for their fragrances, and this is a great bargain. I think if you want something that is a great gourmand vanilla, something that is sweet, or maybe you just wanted something that is on the cheaper side anyway, this is a fantastic affordable option for you. I think this is just a great, great deal. Now, like I said, when this came out, everyone just lost their minds and went bonkers over that. And apparently this has been doing really well for the brand and I am really thrilled about that. This is a great fragrance. I think if you really like vanilla or if you like imaginary authors, definitely check this one out. I think it's awesome. So that's all I have. Let me know what you think of a whiff of waffle cone. Do you like it, love it, hate it? Let me know. Of course, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. And click that little bell so you get a notification every time I make an upload. Thanks again for watching. I'm Dave with Fragrance Bros.